Everybody, Keynes is the bomb. It's a show by Chris and Neil with all great movies. They are the real deal. We watch them all so you don't have to. It's movies that don't suck and some that do. Hi, welcome to Movies Don't Suck and Some Do. My name is Neil. And I'm Chris. <laughs> And today we got two, yes, count them, two movies that we're doing out there in the entire movie world that mm-hmm. we watch the movies of, or movies are out there, yeah. and we're out there, and so we're out there with the movies, that watching sounds right. the movies, and then we review the movies we review right them. here. Yeah, and sometimes we say they're good and they're not. Like, sometimes they're good, Yeah. sometimes they don't suck, and sometimes they do. Sometimes they don't suck. Sometimes they do suck. I mean, it, it can't be as bad as Christopher Nolan's Bat Universe. But, you know, hey, some movies can be that bad. Just so that's, that's Neil's view on this, but that's okay. Hey, <laughs> I'm just going to tell you. Yeah. Don't don't play with me today, bro. Don't play with me. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah. he's always watching, bro. Chainsaw, he's always watching. Gonna, don't do it. Don't do it. He's always watching. Don't do it. He's always watching. Don't do it, Neil. <laughs> Say his name and he appears. I believe in Joe Hendry. Oh my god, he appeared! Oh yeah. my god! Again, still pretty ambivalent on Joe Hendry. <laughs> I love Joe Hendry. My wife, my wife just submitted to me like the other day. She goes, I'm not gonna lie, the song is really catchy. Well, does she find him hot? That's what I want to know. I don't know. Okay. Oh. You don't know? Okay. I don't know. Um, or yes or no? Uh, so, Chris, <laughs> yeah. what, what are we? What, what are we? Uh, I'm asking right now. I'm like, do you find Joe Hendry attractive? Gotcha. Uh, no, no, no. She probably would. He's Scottish. I'm Irish. I mean, that's kind of kind on of, the same I mean, shoreline, right? I mean, if you tell tell a Scottish guy that, you might find you. <laughs> All right, so the first two <laughs> movies that we're doing this week, the first movie you forgot, is by the way. <laughs> Love Lies Bleeding. <laughs> Love Lies Bleeding is, of course, from Chris's favorite uh, favorite studio, A24. I yeah. think it's the only studio you watch. No, I watch other ones. Um, <laughs> yeah, only because I make you. No, no, only because no. I make you. Uh, long legs, I think, is Neon, and I was pretty excited for that. But who's in Love Lies Bleeding? Yeah. Well, the one, the only, everybody knows her as the vampire sucker. Yes, it's Christine Stewart. It wasn't me. You don't know me, Mr. Rumson. But there's not a woman on this earth who will make you a better wife. You want to. I paid enough for you. Maybe paid for, but I'm not your property. You grab me unwanted like that again, and I'll shoot you down like a dog. Where do you get that? A woman has her secrets. Yeah, that's um. God, what is the movie called? Mm-hmm. Berg. It's the Berg. Yeah, with her and Anthony Mackie. I'm maybe paid for. Sorry. Did you hit the button again? No. Dude, stop double tap. Dude, this is not zombie land. Stop double tapping. Well, no, it was. It's something that's going. I yeah, I fucked it up somehow. It's my fault. I had to <laughs> you didn't fuck up. Yeah. Also in this movie, uh, playing her significant other, the one and only Kathy O'Brien. I think it's just Katie. Uh, no, I said Kathy. I'm sorry. I I was trying not to say Kathy all day long. Katie O'Brien. I'm sorry. Um, but- um, but my ultimate fantasy um, is is to be used as a as a as a table, uh, and and to have people uh, eat their their dinner off of me. So my wife and I are hosting a dinner party next Saturday. And we would love to have you over as our table. What? Really? <laughs> Harvey, that's that's awesome. Yeah, I don't know where that's from. It's from uh, acting real. It's, it's a great scene already. I, I don't know either what it's from, but uh, the thing is that was on her acting reel. Like, yeah. I went looking for, you know, different, and uh, she hasn't done a lot. You know, yeah. she did, like, Supergirl mm-hmm. and... Um, um, 
uh, the Z Nation and stuff yeah. like that. But but I was just like, as soon as I saw that clip, I was like, oh, that's it. I don't <laughs> I don't even need to look for anything yeah. else. And I didn't. Yeah. I didn't. That's mm-hmm. where that's where I ended. Uh, the one, the only one of the I a guy I love a lot, and this is I think one of his funniest scenes in all of his acting career. Mr. Dave Franco. Yeah. Okay, she's like, I don't want to go to jail. I, you know what happens to a handsome guy like me in jail? It rhymes with grape. It rhymes with grape. I can't let that happen. So I got these from my dad's gun. Eric, cabin. Eric, yo, Eric, come on. Eric. Springfield 45, police issue, very powerful guns. You ever use one? We're not really uh, gun people, man. No. A lot of things have made me wonder about you. Come on. Taste in music. The fact that you look like a fucking 40 year old man. Then after that shit at the play, I realized there's no way you guys could be cops. <laughs> That's from 21 Jump Street, right? That's from Dude, <laughs> one of it, dude, he that that movie always cracks my shit. You could also pick something know. probably from uh neighbors too, you know, like neighbors. Yeah, neighbor well. too. Uh but it's not just that. Also, uh I I watched I think half of the disar- the the disaster artist. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like like trying to find, but there's nothing that was good mm-hmm. enough that yeah. I was like, yeah, yeah. Cause all of it was all about his brother being, yeah. you know, Tommy. Yeah. But anyway. Uh, and then the one, the only, one of my favorite oh, so villain actors in all the history of villain acting in all of movies, how this guy has not, actually, he's one of because of this think. movie, because of this movie, I was going to say how he's not been a James Bond villain, uh-huh. I don't understand, but then I realized, I forgot, The Rock is the last James Bond movie. <laughs> with John Connery in it. So I forgot about that. So here he is from The Rock, Mr. Ed Harris. You wouldn't have any fucking idea what it means to lead some of the finest men on God's earth into battle and then see their memory betrayed by their own fucking government. I don't quite see how you cherish the memory of the dead by killing another million. And uh, this is not combat. It's an act of lunacy, General Shah. Personally, I think you're a fucking idiot. The Tree of Liberty must be refreshed from time to time with the blood of patriots and tyrants. Thomas Jefferson. Patriotism is the virtue of the vicious, according to Oscar Wilde. <laughs> from the rock. Uh, you know, from not- the rock, which was... Sean Connery's. What do you not agree? That yeah. is Sean Connery as James Bond. It really for was the last time. Yeah, uh, uh, not no, the, uh, well, uh, he was. He was a hidden. Oh, I see what you're doing. Military. He was a hidden British military special agent mm-hmm. that that got caught, and then they in the fifties uh, or or sixties in the sixties, right when he did his last timing, like the the timing of when he would have been caught would have been the last time he played James Bond in a movie. Oh, so this would be a this is a fan theory, right? Yeah, no, I I'm 100% that's James Bond. Okay. Um, I I'm The Rock is a James Bond movie. Uh, All right. Neil, real quick, everybody real, real, in love real, life. real quick. Knock knock. Knock knock. Oh, who's there? Uh Dishes. Dishes who? Dishes Sean Connery. <laughs> that was the worst dad joke ever. <laughs> it's the worst dad joke. Okay. Then the second movie that we did this week, of course, because I am from the state of Oklahoma and we have to do the movie that's based in Oklahoma, you know, because that's it. Which, uh, because it's based in Oklahoma, uh, that's what threw me off of this movie. Okay. <laughs> because. They did so many things. They said, like, I'm sitting there watching the movie, sitting here in Oklahoma, watching, uh, what's the name of the movie? Oh, yeah. So, uh, oh, so not, watching no, uh, Tornado. One, that, not, not Tornado. It's not called Tornado. Okay. I, I'm sorry. No, so, I was watching no, no, Neil, not, uh, Tornado Valley. No, it's called, that's not it either. Okay. So, I was watching <laughs> the movie Tornado Warning. That, that, that's not it either. It's not, I hope that's not what you watched. Oh no no! Into the storm. How you watch this? I was watching that. I'm like four. No, I was watching F four vortex. Oh god! No. no no wait 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 no no no. I mean I was watching. I'm serious. Night of the Twisters. God damn it, Neil. 
<laughs> you have 30 of these? No, wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Tornado Alley? Is it Tornado Alley? Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, there twist, it is. Yeah, twister. No, that's that, oh. that's not it. That's not <laughs> it. Oh, metal there tornado. It is. Metal tornado. <laughs> no, metal, metal not, tornado. Something like that. No, no, wait, 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 wait. I got it. I got it. It's Sharknado. No, it's not Sharknado. Is what we watched. Oh, okay. No, but yeah, it was Twisters, uh, which is based in Oklahoma, and because of certain things, I'm gonna say this. It kind of threw me out of the movie a little bit. Okay. And I'm gonna talk about those later. Okay. But it was just dumb things. It's okay. dumb things. Okay. But uh, we're going to talk about the summer that Glenn Powell took over in just a moment. Here he is, Mr. Glenn Powell. Breathe. Think hitman thoughts. So? So, you're assessing me. Am I the right guy to eliminate your problem? And just so you know, I'm assessing you too. Are you full of shit? Some big talker who's not serious. And if you are serious now, are you one day going to find Jesus and be so overburdened by guilt and remorse and confess your sins? Are you going to crack under pressure, Craig? And you're going to point a fucking finger at me? (laughs) Never. (laughs) Fuck, man. Never. Fact. I got it all worked out already. Okay. Let's hear it. Yeah, from Hitman. We watched talked talk about a couple Which was stuff. a movie we've we've reviewed. Yeah, yeah. And he, like how many movies has Glenn Powell come have had this uh-huh. in twenty twenty four? Like five of them. Yeah. Seventeen of them? Yeah. hundred and four? I don't know. He's gotta have way more than Nicolas Cage in twenty twenty three at this point already. Also in this movie, uh playing his partner, uh Daisy Edger Jones. No, I never hated them. They hated me. I mean, they laughed at me. They left me. They harassed me. They attacked me. You you want me to beg for my life? I don't have it in me. I won't. I will not offer myself up. They can make their decision. But they're not deciding anything about me. It's them. They're judging themselves. From where the crawdads sing. Now, you know what clip I wanted. You know where I wanted to get a clip from. What's up? Which was one of our favorite horror movies of, like, I think it was 2022 or 2023. And that was Fresh with her and, oh, and yeah. Sebastian. Goddamn. Yeah, it's the only other movie that she really was, like, uh, main lead in. And there was not a single clip I could find that would not either, A, give away the the story, (laughs) or B, was, like, her, like, just screaming for, like, five minutes. So, you know. (laughs) Uh, Also in this movie, I think the first movie he's ever been in where he's not singing and dancing, it's Anthony Ramos. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. It wasn't real because it was real for me. It's been real since the moment I met you. That's insane. You can't have been in love with me all this time. Do you know what I know? What? You want to know what I know? Is that I loved you since high school. Right, stop. And I haven't felt that way about anyone since. Until I saw you at the start of this summer. So, Susie, don't tell me whether or not what I'm feeling is real. Yeah, what's that from again, Neil? Is that I loved you since... Sorry, where's that from? That is from... Uh... Summer days. What is up with the double tap today, I don't know, man? Are you, are you I, okay? I didn't hit again. It just, it yeah, are you nerves? Are you nerves okay, bro? Yeah, fine. Be, here, do you need? Here you go. You want me to pass out no, to no, you, bro? No. Yeah, I got a beer here. <laughs> so, you got a beer? Yeah. Woo! I am not drinking beer because uh, my body is like, I feel oh, yeah, dehydrated. Yeah. <laughs> yesterday. Oh, gosh. Uh, and also in this movie of uh, one of the most famous actresses from sitcoms and uh, everything from news radio, uh, cheers, uh, like uh, she was in Friends for a little bit. Uh, and she was, I think, the, what what I get her from? Yes, I thought I did. One of the greatest comedic movies of all time, Liar Liar, is Maria Tenier. Maria Tenier. Is it Maria? That's what I said, Maria Tenier. Maura. That's what I said. Fair. Oh, okay. Let's define fair, shall we? Last night, a five-year-old boy was crushed because his father lied to him about coming to his birthday party. Fair? Last night. Was none of my business. 
None of my business. Two years ago, it was my business. But see, I don't have to care about that anymore. I don't care. That's the magic of divorce. But it matters to Max. Everything you do matters to Max and everything you don't do. All right, now let me tell you something. I'm a bad father. I mean... I'm a bad father. God damn it, you care for me, a bad father. I also want to mention, you know, I don't know if you noticed this, that Katie O'Brien was also in Twisters. Who was? Katie O'Brien. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Katie O'Brien was also in that. I was going to talk about that uh, later on during the movie, but yeah, literally, um, I, w- I was going to, and at one point, I was going to do the double. Yeah. yeah. And I was just like, nah, I won't do that this time. But yes, uh, definitely. Katie O'Brien, who's in both movies that we're talking mm-hmm. about. But Chris, you first got to tell everybody where they can find us. You can find us on movies, don't suck that net. We're at w2mnet.com. That's the number two, Amazon Movies Net. Find us on a bunch of really cool podcasts. Find us on Instagram, MTS Podcast. We're uh, an ex MTS podcast. Uh, find us on Patreon, Patreon Cost, that's means you don't suck. You'll find us at Bonfire, because Bonfire Comics, that's means you don't suck something new. You'll find us at T Public under Blackwood Productions, right? Correct. That's what yeah. I put it under. Yeah, you'll find a bunch of t shirts and also our t shirts there as well. Uh, you guys can find us on YouTube at Movies Don't Suck Podcast, and you can find us uh, anywhere you find podcasts. You can find podca- podcasts on Movies Don't Suck Some Do. Oh yeah, if you're if you're listening to us on like Spotify or Apple Podcasts, so subscribe. We serve you. We'll, uh, we'll love you forever. And then you click know, subscribe, hit notifications, yeah, get yeah. all the buttons, touch yeah. all the buttons, all the dingies, all the thingies, make them all scream at you, scream at you. And Neil, who are we talking about today? What do you mean? What are we talking about? We today? we had we talk about small business every week. Who we talk about today? Do we really? Yeah, yeah. It's, usually, oh, great. Usually, I, you're the one who uh, who brings that in. So I do bring that in, and I am going to bring that in. Um, it's called an introduction. Gosh, that's all I need. All right. So we know our buddy Topher. Topher. Our buddy Topher is a good dude. He is an awesome guy. There's our buddy Topher. Uh, he opened up a pizza place that we uh, have supported several times now, called Two 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 Two. two, 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 two Tutu's Pizza, which is some of the most beautiful looking pizza God, that was good. you'll ever see in the entire existence. Oh. That's his new buffalo chicken with his hot sauce that he makes himself. Literally, he has a garden behind the trailer now <laughs> that he literally, this is what it all looks like now that it's all painted up. Oh, nice. Yeah, now everything's painted and done. And uh, it's right next that, to the dispensary. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's why it's Tutu's. Tutu's oh. Dispensary. Two plus two Dispensary. Yeah. Is is the supporters so of all you, of it? So what you can do is you can. Uh, and that is El Camino. That's uh, that's that's uh, actually Topher's El Camino in front of the. In front of the so what you can do is you can buy now, some. You can buy support. some. You get some weed, and then buy pizza. Get get home, yeah. smoke it, have the munchies, and eat that pizza, right? And if you is it nope not yet it wasn't in this picture but there is now a there is now a food truck that they are working on that nice. they are going to be yeah so. So we always support him. We always support his thing. Uh, definitely go to uh, uh, two two pies house. But this weekend, doing one of the coolest things ever, and so therefore that's why they are our sponsor this week because we're going to support this. Two pies pie house is presenting a pizza party. Uh, the fifty first slices are free with a donation courtesy of the Tulsa pizza guy. The Tulsa pizza guy is one of uh, Tulsa's main guys who goes around, tries pizzas Mm -hmm. everywhere. Uh, The, all the proceeds are going to the Richardson family. Now um, the Richardson family was a family that lost their father and son in a drowning accident on July 4th. So this is going to proceeds to the family to help them out as they go through these times of dire needs. But the pizza party is on like Donkey Kong. It is in, it is in this parking lot. <laughs> if you see that with yeah. the basketball hoop and yeah. everything like that and oops, boop. but 
It's kids' activities, basketball, a DJ, face painters. I think they're going to have a dunk tank. I don't know if that went through. A local skate skateboarding crew is going to be there and stuff. It's going to be good pizzas from 4. It's going to be 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. at 713 South Sheridan Road, literally blocks from my house. Whoever's listening, whoever's watching, whatever, go down there. If you don't even want slices, go down there and at least donate to the Richardson family. Help them get through these dying times, please stuff like that. So for our boys at two twos and two twos dispensary and two twos pie house, go down there, get some pie, get some, I mean, cause look, I'll just hypnotize you with this every time. Oh I'll God. just do that. Uh, I'll just do that all day long. Oh I'll just keep oh, on doing that. it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. And they make all their own dough. All like he called me literally minutes before, you know, this guy right here <laughs> called me just minutes ago and was like, Every time he calls me, too, he calls me. This is how I'm like, hello, Neil motherfucking Blackwood. <laughs> that's, how he, that's how he always talks to me. Love him. He was coming up with uh, what sauces he needs to make for this Sunday. So please, people, if yeah, all the people watching, seriously, go to Tutu's Pie House. If you can't make it, find ways. They got ways to have links on there that so- will... Let you donate. Yeah, no, I'm coming down to you in October, late October, October 25th, right? And um, uh, well, let's 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 make sure we're we're okay on that. Well, let's you know, 100. I mean, I'm coming down regardless. Uh, if you're, oh, for, for your it's non- my wedding weekend, my <laughs> anniversary time. Yeah, I know, I know. but uh, but uh, I was just gonna let you know that when I'm down there, I want to go to Tutu's. So. Oh, dude, yeah. I mean, we can walk to it. <laughs> I'll, 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 and even if it's closed that day or whatever, I'll just be like, hey, Tougher, go get the oven. <laughs> I don't give a damn. You're making some pizzas right now. <laughs> but you know who didn't make me pizzas? Uh, you, 824. 824. With, <laughs> we're going to talk about Wing, directed by Rose Glass. You guys went over Rose Glass because she directed one of my favorite movies, I think, of two years ago. It was uh, Neil Solis' favorite movie. It was one, one I love called St. Maud. She directed this. Uh, this stars. Uh, this oh stars, my god, they did make Saint Ma, didn't they? Yeah. Oh, sorry, man. I like. Oh, to, that's so sad. I like Saint Ma quite a bit, but this is a. This stars Kristen Stewart as Lou. It wasn't me. Also, Anna Ber- Berishkov as Daisy. Dave Franco as JJ. Yeah. Okay, she's like, I don't want to go to jail. Also, Kitty O'Brien plays Jackie. Um, but my ultimate fantasy. Uh, also, this is Jim Malone as uh, Beth. Sorry. Who's that now? Sir, sir, okay, sir. Sorry. I'm going to ask you um, to but my, replay. Um, but my ultimate fantasy um, is is to be used as a as a as a table. Uh, okay. okay. And then, okay, stop that. And uh, now we got to go back to Dave Franco. <sighs> okay, she's like, I don't want to go to jail. Oh, yeah, you know what happens to a handsome guy like me in jail? It rhymes with grape. Is that what you wanted? Yeah, okay. it rhymes with right. grape. This also it rhymes st- with grape. Also stars Jenna Malone. Jenna Malone, we haven't seen her in a long time. Beth, Eldon James plays Billy. Ed Harris plays Lou Senior. And you wouldn't have any fucking idea what it means to lead some of the finest men on God's earth into battle and then see their memory betrayed by their own fucking government. Also, Catherine Hall is Jim Woman. Um, Orton Carrington plays O'Reilly. Keith Jennings plays Chester. Matthew Wood Smith as Dave. And we'll, we'll take Fletcher. Tate Fletcher is neat. You know, why don't you go ahead and read the storyline for Love Lies Bleeding? From director Rose Glass comes an electric new love story. Reclusive gym manager Lou falls hard for Jackie as an envious bodybuilder head through town to Vegas in pursuit of her dream. But their love ignites violence, pulling them deep into the web of Lou's criminal family. So, so I'm going to tell you what this reminds me of. This is really a little bit of a Coen Brothers film. Did you get that? What Conan Brothers? No, man. no Conan Brothers. So like maybe, maybe a little bit like uh, No Country for Old Men. I'll put that as there because it's like a crime. No, you, you, I mean, you, uh, I don't know No Country. No Country from Old Men. Okay, I uh, that movie gives me a vibe just because the two people that are most important in that movie never meet. But um, <laughs> but that's not what that that's not what this gives me. This gives me. 
This is Romeo and Juliet with guns. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. They already made that. That was Leo DiCaprio. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, that no, this is... This is a, they already did that. They already did that. This looks like it takes place in Oklahoma or one of those Appalachian states. Everything in this thing is grimy and gross. You know, like... Like oh, that, no, no, no. That's not Oklahoma. That's literally the oh. way that looks. That looks like it's Utah or oh. New Mexico oh, or okay. something like that. Yeah, yeah. I'd say. Oh, yeah, there's, there's Nevada. Nevada. Yeah, yeah, somewhere in at least one of those backward parts of it because everything in this thing was still yeah. grimy and gross. But I do want to say I like this movie quite a bit. I like this movie a lot. Yeah. And the, 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 the star of this fucking movie, Edders. hands down. Is O'Brien. Uh, O'Brien. Oh, she's great. She's great. Is, is amazing. Like, if whenever she decided to become an actor, because she was a bodybuilder and stuff like that before. She's also in all these Star Wars stuff. Like, not, she was like in like the Mandalorian, I think, right? What am I thinking of? Yes, she was yeah. in the Mandalorian and she was also in, um, yeah, and she was in the Supergirl yeah. Yeah. series. She was in Z Nation. Like, uh, she's Ant Man and Wasp. She was in The Mandalorian. Um, she was in Magnum P.I., Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Black Lightning. Fan, like, she's been doing it for, you know, a good 10 years. She's, so about, she's fucking jacked in this movie, too. Fucking jacked. She's yeah, dude. <laughs> she, she fit perfect. Yeah. Whoever... I know I know the role of Lou yeah. was written for Kristen Stewart. Yeah. And she does, but a, good, she does a good job. I mean, she, she does a good job. She's yeah, fine. she does a good job too. She does a good job too. But but man, O'Brien just knocks this one right out of the damn park. If she doesn't get nominated for something for this role, uh that just is because all award shows are rigged. Oh, and just so you guys know, this movie is fucking violent as shit. Like when they say Love Lies Bleeding, oh. it definitely does. <laughs> like um uh it's got it's got uh it's 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 not very funny. <laughs> I guess I'd best way really put it. Well no, it's got it's got it's got to, it's positive moments. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna the, lie on that. Yeah. I mean I'm, like the like the love between Jackie and Lou, that's sort of heartwarming. At parts, but also really fucked up. Yeah, look at look how Jack she is. Like she's uh, just like man, she's a badass. Uh, and uh, I think this is a scene of her. Yeah, I mean, yeah. like she makes she makes Stuart look like she's like tiny. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. uh, also, I want to mention how good uh, Ed Harris is in this movie. God, he plays such and Dave Franco. Yeah. Dave Franco plays such a pos. <laughs> like he he just like I was like man. If Kid Rock was in the eighties, uh, that's that's what oh. Dave Franco played oh, yeah, like. Yeah, like uh, yeah, and you barely recognize him because I'm just shithead he is. But everyone in this movie is fucking fantastic. It, like they did their parts so well. Um, it's written well. It's got Ed all the- Harris. Look at Ed Harris, man. That just <laughs> boom. It's it's a it's a really good movie. It's, it's it has has its parts. It's. It's gross and grimy and kind of scary, but it's uh, it's, it's really fucking good. Yeah, I'm I'm sad that we missed this in the theater. Yeah, I wanted. I'm so I, sad that we I know we this. I know we went to. I think you're out of town, or I was out of town that week, and, and it didn't stick around because yeah, yeah. it's a indie it just film. disappeared. Yeah, because any any movie now that is like a good indie good film like this just ends up on streaming. Yeah, it, it, it's not. It's like they don't even care to have it in the theater anymore. Yeah, I want unless this, it's a major. I, we almost saw it in theaters, but we couldn't get there in time. So, yeah, and this is—I wish I'd have seen this one in the theater. But this one is available. I think it was on Max. Yeah, it was on Max. Yeah, it's right there. Yeah, right. You guys, it's on Max. Uh, which they just—I guess they merged with Hulu and Disney Plus and everything now. So they're I, a big. I, I need to. Big th- I need to consolidate it because I think I'm paying for all three. <laughs> I need to move. I need to move to one. So but, I, I will talk about that in the new segment. Okay, okay. Anyway. Um, but anyway, this movie, Ed Harris is the bad guy. Mm -hmm. He always does good. He was, he was discussing, uh, Dave Franco played a dirtbag piece of shit that he was good in his role. This, everything about this movie, just like, it it felt dirty. It felt grimy. It felt real. And it it felt real for sure. That means for some, for one part, but, but, but then that, then like this movie is, 
it's for people who have prime who like and i wouldn't call it a yeah, like nerd. even uh what was that crackhead's name um oh, oh, uh, the, uh, daisy uh, messy girl daisy. yeah her uh and even her off. like she she reminded me of a girl that used to try to stalk me back in the day. <laughs> like that was on dope, like, hey, we gotta hang out. Here. What one of the things they and wanted like, to do is show up her really fucked up grill because she had the LSD. Like you gonna find another person? You're like, mm. you know, like, but uh, yeah, they wanted to be like, this is what meth mouth is. Uh, by the way, this movie is it takes place like in the early late eighties or early nineties, and it's one of those movies smoking looks so cool. Like, like it's one of those reasons. Oh you know, yeah, everybody smoked. Yeah, everybody. Yeah. Hey, we're bodybuilders working out with a cigarette. I know mouth. it's weird, Ooh. man. Like <laughs> it does. Like these movies that, that take place in the time, everyone's smoking a cigarette. I'm like, I don't smoke. I kind of want a cigarette. <laughs> That's why, you know. But um, no, nah, man. Love us, we think is pretty. It's pretty great. Um, I'm glad I got to see it, and I, I just, I was really into this movie. This is the best. This is the best fact of the movie. Mm. The film is set in 1989, which is the same year that Katie O'Brien was born. Yeah. Yeah. Well, cool. It's hilarious. Yeah. And, uh, and by the way, Katie O'Brien, Kristen Stewart, Dave Franco, Ed Harris, they all were fantastic in this movie. And I, I'm glad they're in it. I'm glad I saw it. And I think that, uh, I, I know Neil didn't like St. Maude, but I did. And so see how I came with Zero Rose Glass does after this she's someone definitely to watch you know yeah i mean uh i mean mod was okay it was just dumb but you know it, it, visually it was okay it was beautiful just the story made no sense and it would just and it's like yeah that's why mod didn't work mod, but this this is the kind of movie she should be doing and stick away from the movies that make no sense and that you know mod made sense but it, there was a lot of, a lot of they did not make sense. We're, we're not here talking about that. Though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I mean, yeah, there is a fictional scene or whatever you want to say, but it's not really fictional if you understand what the yeah, meaning yeah, behind the scene symbol, is. Symbolism. I, I, symbolism. The symbolism. <laughs> the symbolism. symbolism. You guys don't know where we're referencing. Symbolism. <laughs> Boondock Saints. I almost said, what's that the symbology? <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's like, there's 27 people watching. I'm guessing one of them knows yeah. Boondock Saints. Yeah. If you know Boondock, Boondock Saints, give me a hell yeah. Okay. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, but yeah, this is, um, uh, this is always bleeding. Uh, I'm, I'm going to give my score on this one. This is four, yeah, go for it, bro. This is a 4.3 for me. I really like this movie. Yeah. Easily, uh, Easily, uh, right now, this is going to be in my top 10 for the oh, year that's so good far, to hear. I think. That's good to hear, man. Like, yeah, I love this movie. Uh, I'm going to give this like a 4.5. I really, really yeah. like this movie. This is a movie, not only did I like the movie itself, but mm -hmm. this is like one of those movies that I could just throw on and I'll be fine with it no matter what. Yeah. It's like, always... I don't think I, it, it's not one, of, it's not like, it's not like Star Wars where as soon as the credits is done, I can start it over and play it right again. But, like, if this is on anywhere, I'm okay. And to be honest, it'll probably get thrown into the movies I fall asleep to at the end oh, of the yeah. night. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, this just has, like, a great feeling to it. The soundtrack is great. Mm -hmm. Nothing's, like, loud and exploding, <laughs> it's, but it's just, like, a good story. Uh, there are two times I went, oh, fuck, like, in the middle of it. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there was a couple scenes. I mean, uh, um. Ladies walking up to apartment. Now, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll say that. What about, that, that lady, scene, what about lady going into someone else's house? How about that, too? Yeah, lady going into somebody else's <laughs> house. Uh, we're trying not to ruin said said scenes yeah. for you guys, but there are several scenes in this movie that literally just made me go, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, what the hell just happened? And that's what you got, you like from a movie like mm -hmm. this. It's like, um, we just, we just, uh, you know, did Boondock Saints. Boondock Saints has those scenes yeah. that if you've never seen it before, as scenes like, what the fuck? Like, I mean, at the beginning of Boondock Saints, if, I mean, I yeah. guess this ain't a spoiler since it's like, yeah. what, 40 years old now. <laughs> um, but at the beginning of Boondock Saints, when they beat, they, they hit the woman that like is talking shit to yeah. them, you know, you know, fuck you yeah. and fuck you. Yeah. And they hit her and they're like, ah, oh. Yeah, yeah. You know, surprising. It's not something you'd see out of left field. Yeah. Uh, but four point five for me. Four point three for Chris. Yeah. Uh, I'm not. Wrote to me as a Neil. 
What is the audience score for Love Lies Bleeding? Uh, audience score, I, I hope they don't disappoint. 81%. So close, 82%. There's actually an audience, ah! actually an audience says on this one. So the audience says, Love Lies Bleeding tells a stylish, slow-burning story with some great performances, although it takes some big risks toward the end. They won't pay off for everyone. Whatever. You know, what is the critic score for Love Lies Bleeding? Hopefully they go. They're not. They're going to go lower. They're going to go lower. It'll be seventy four percent, ninety four percent certified fresh. Damn it! Yeah. <laughs> Could I was going to go higher. Could consensus right. is lust and violence collide to power free pulpy effect and love lies bleeding. Well acted addition to writer director Rose Glass's growing body of exceptional work. So you read a bad review and a good review. Uh, this is from uh, Chuck Rowan of Style Weekly he says. I love Noir and have forgiven even stupider plots than the one the glass when we just hear, but I resent the way she holds herself above the material. Chuck Bowen, you go fuck yourself. And this is from um, Callan Cooper. <laughs> this is from Callan Cooper in their own league. He goes, not only in hair raising, yet also intense and thought provoking. At least the viewer is stunned from its intriguing opening to its darkly bizarre climax. And both Neil and Al, Neil, really, really like Little Eyes Bleeding. Uh, you guys can see on Max, and it's. It's it's the reason why A twenty four is a, a good studio because they put out kind of weird shit like this and you know I don't, I, I don't think the thing is uh, you say kind of weird shit but I'm gonna just go on a limb right now and say I don't think this movie was too weird okay I think this was a good I think this was just a good original story yeah that but, has some it has a little weird shit at the end but I if but again Im- imagine it's very Im- easy. But imagine the audience that would have had a problem with this. It was a range of ways. You know, there'd be a, people with the, uh, Obviously, they didn't because it gave it an 82%. I, I, I know, but there'd be an audience out there, like people that, the, the people did, that didn't go see it because they were lesbians. And like that, that's the main love story. You guys didn't know that Chris and Stuart Day's in the. Whoa, 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 uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, 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 wait. There's lesbians in this yeah, movie? Yeah, just yeah, so the, the main relationship is a lesbian relationship. It's. It's fucking awesome. This movie's no. Shit. I know. I, I don't remember seeing any lesbians that once in the entire movie. I I, I believe you could play this for kids at school oh, and church. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the movies don't suck and something news. I'm gonna read stuff to Chris. He's gonna like it. If not, he can find a new co-host. Oh no, I won't do that. Like, then, <laughs> so one of the things happen if one of us like has to quit, the podcast has to end. We can't do it. It has to end. It has to. Then we just got to change the name. The other one can change the name and called "Movies Don't Suck." Some that do, and the other guy died. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> be this is show by Neil and yeah, like, just, and deceased. Yeah, yeah. And deceased, Chris. Yeah, just leave out my name. All right, Chris, it's happening, man. Nobody two. Yeah. Nobody two. Nobody two. They what? have. They have. They have casted their new villain mm. for nobody to the new villain will be played by the one the only sharon stone oh really interesting yes the movie is in the works now it's already in pre-production um like you said it's supposed to be out in all by august of next year so uh sharon stone you know has played the bad guy in so many famous movies of course the famous one being basic instinct mm. You know, more than everything, yeah. sliver stuff like that. So, I can't wait for that. Um, so the Spawn reboot is the the script is done, and the name of the movie is now changing to what? It's not going to be called just Spawn. It's going to be called King Spawn. Interesting. Why are they doing that? I'm interested <laughs> on this. I have no idea. The title of the new Spawn movie has been revealed alongside uh, a look at its new logo, which I don't have, but the Spawn comics are... Da, 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 da. And, and that's all it says. It's a, it's going to be King Spawn, which it doesn't give us more info than that at this time. That's weird that you do that. that which, I, I'm not changing the name of the actual person, like the actual Spawn character to King Spawn. That'd be weird. Yeah, yeah, I mean, whatever. Um, Mandalorian is start beginning filming in two weeks from now. So the Mandalorian film and the Grogu film are being filmed simultaneously. Are they going to come out the theaters? Um, both of them Disney start. Plus? Per- Do you know? 
I have no idea. They they, they haven't really da, 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 hit the ground running. Da, 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 da. I mean, it, let's be honest. Uh, I'm guessing we'll. I'm going to tell you this right now. Do you know what started today? Do you know what dates today started, or I should say yesterday, actually? What do you know what big event's going on right now? Is there something going on? It's San Diego Comic-Con. Oh, oh, gotcha. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. I didn't know that. So there's going to be next new segment mm-hmm. next week is going to be packed full of stuff. Uh, also, I mean, because next, next so week we also talk about, we talk also about fucking uh, Deadpool and Wolverine next week. So like, Deadpool and Wolverine, yes. So I can finally read all the stuff I've been. <laughs> oh, I, I have dude, not read. I've been like if, you. If it has, if it has Ryan Reynolds, Hugh Jackman, Deadpool, or Wolverine in the picture in the title, yeah. or anything, I skipped it. They could have been making new movies that <laughs> I don't know about right now because if their name is involved, I have skipped it. So have you? Uh, have you um bought your ticket yet? No, but a buddy of mine last night had uh. Uh, he said he's got some free tickets from when something happened okay. that we're going to probably go see it this Saturday. Okay. And there's also an event this week where a bunch of cosplayers are dressing up like the characters. Okay. Like, I'm, you know, and I'm, I might go to that. So I, I don't it, know. Yet. I for Danny's out of town this weekend. So I'm probably going to go to the movie <laughs> on Saturday oh, yeah. by myself. Is she, where's she going, yeah, to, and, she going to, to the, um, where's she going? You don't mind me asking. Somewhere camping. I have okay. no friends. <laughs> um, Rebel Moon. <sighs> Rebel Moon's Red Band trailer came out. It is now. No, now the movie that we watched was PG-13. Mm. The director's cut is going to be hard R. Okay. And it's gory as hell. I, I guess we'll watch it. Uh, I mean, I don't know. What's it uh, we're not gonna. Well, why? I, I don't. I don't think I'm. Why would we re-review that? Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, we yeah, already yeah. reviewed it. Yeah, I said watch it, but I don't know if we'll review it, though. I mean, Zack Snyder, if you yeah, play a movie, I mean, it's like good right the now. first time it comes out. Like, you know what I mean? Um, Let's see. Our our movie from last week has now hit $50 million at the box office. Long Legs oh, yeah. is now out there. Um, Inside Out 2, which we reviewed, yeah. is now the highest grossing animated movie ever. Oh my god! Not just Pixar, <laughs> ever, ever. It beat Frozen. Oh my god, that's crazy! I didn't know it'd be that. Like, I mean, that... like by a lot, <laughs> by a lot, by millions, right? Like, yeah, like no, no tons of uh, tens of millions. Oh my god! <laughs> and it's still going, bro. You know, the first thing I saw Lee was Frozen. Did you know that? Yes, yes, I do. That's why I, that when I when I read that, um, Eddie Murphy, Axel Foley X, uh, which uh, Axel Foley, Axel Foley oh, X, Axel F, that me and Chris reviewed a couple weeks ago with their good um, friend Mark. became a big hit yeah. with Netflix with our friend Mark. Yeah. Uh, now they're thinking, hey, why don't we go into that? Why don't we go into that old suitcase there <laughs> and find, find those other uh, find those other eighties movies that. Uh, that uh eddie murphy worked on so on working on the script now dan Aykroyd is helping with the strip of trading places too interesting that'd be fun man i mean coming to america you know part two or whatever i mean coming to yeah, america, to america yeah. was was okay yeah, it's, it's no fun. axel f it's no axel f <laughs> yeah axel f uh, rumors going around, and I'm guessing the announcement will be this weekend if it really happens, that the Russo brothers are returning to the MCU and will be doing Avengers 5 and 6. Now, if you guys don't know, they did Infinity Game, uh, Infinity War, I'm sorry, Infinity War and Endgame, yeah. <laughs> which is two of the highest grossing movies of and, and, and all time. And two, the, I think Endgame is pretty, pretty much said by everyone the best MCU movie, you know? Yeah. yeah, I mean it's one of the best movies of all time. It, you can't really, you can't really put it out there that. <laughs> I, I I wonder. I like, mean, they can't do the King Dynasty anymore. You know they can't do that anymore. So what's gonna happen? Do what? They can't do the King Dynasty anymore. That was me, like, the Avengers film, right? Like the King. Actually, that was a story I had last week, and we didn't get to it because oh. we had the guest, and mm-hmm. we, we we went on. But they have recast King. Oh, 
Okay, so it's going to be someone else. But they, they, they have requested. They have, and they're going to work it into the storyline because they can. Yeah, I yeah. mean, it's it's comic books. It's, Guys, a, it's, it's, it's also it's also multiverse. Like, like, you know, yeah, like, it's like, oh, all of a sudden he changed appearance. There's like 17 different Lokis right yeah. now. <laughs> you know, like, so it's fine. Mm. And they're boy Loki, teenager Loki, old man Loki, you know, like, yeah, yeah. all that stuff. Um. Oh, um, oh, I believe, do you know this guy? This guy on Twitch said he could not believe that Inside Out 2 is now the highest grossing. Oh, I mean, I don't know who that guy is, but. That's my brother. I know who it was. I was trying, <laughs> Sorry. I was trying to be secretive, you punk. That's right. Sometimes, sometimes I'm trying to hide <laughs> that it's our friends that come on here. I just want to mention that uh, my, my brother, he, uh. Yeah, moved to a new apartment today. So good for him. Nice yeah. way to go, bro. Yeah. Um, thanks for listening. Um, the collector, uh, which I hung out with the uh, one of the the uh, John. Uh, oh gosh, dang it! Who's the guy I hung out with the other day? John. He's he's a producer, director. He's a director. So he is. He was he was on the collection, but he did yeah. feast movies, and he did the movie I went and seen. Uh, the other day, uh, John Gulliger. Uh-huh. I had to see it or yeah. I could pronounce it correctly. Yeah. But John, really good man. If you ever ever meet him, really nice guy. Uh, but he, the people, a movie he worked on called The Collector is getting a whole new sequel series coming out. So nice. The Collector series will be coming out with a whole new series. Cool. So hopefully he gets to work on that. Um, and you know how... Disaster movies always bring back the be- always bring out the best parodies. <laughs> yes, that's right. We got Sharknado, but that don't mean nothing because now we're getting Catnado. Nice. Yes. yes finally, <laughs> we're getting a tornado based movie on cats. Yeah, because because uh, now the- it's, now it's back because Twisters is uh, popular. I know it's, Twisters made a lot of money this weekend, so. Yeah, we'll talk about that here in a second. Uh, but yeah, uh, let's see who's in this: Erica Roll Green, Joshua Odo, Blair Kelly, Tucky Williams. Um, there's nine directors, including oh Donald God. Farmer, <laughs> Curtis Ever, Alan Hamilton, Blair Claire, uh, James M. Myers, uh, Melvin Pittman, Tim Ritter, Jerry Williams, and Logan Ween, each who are personally represents one of the lives of the cat NATO. So the cat NATO will have nine lives. Is this coming on sci-fi? I'm looking where it's going to be at. I'm trying to like, yeah. nah, 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 like, and uh, no one's really telling okay, me. Fine. We'll find out. But it, it, it looks like it's going to be on sci-fi though. <laughs> yeah. The forecast is clawful. Oh my God. Nice. It's amazing. <laughs> Um, Lisa Kudrow says there's a script. She's read it. It's amazing. They are moving forward with High School Reunion, the sequel. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. So okay. maybe it's like, you know, that one was like, what, their 10 year or whatever. And yeah, this one's it was Romy, like, It was Romeo and Rochelle's High School Reunion, right? That's what was, I think it was called, right? Romeo and Rochelle's? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes, correct. Um, Here's one that I, I just thought was funny. You know, one out of every 25 people has not heard of Netflix. What the fuck is going on? Yeah, right? I mean. I was like, I cannot believe that's a thing. So we have 25 listeners. Um, I mean, one that hasn't heard of Netflix. Or do you think because the movie podcast, they've always heard of Netflix. I, I don't know, man. So I think everybody has to have heard of Netflix. Oh, um, Tyler Perry wants me and you to know that we're going to hell because we talk negative about his movies. That's fair. <laughs> I mean, I kind of thought I was going there anyway, so it's it's no big deal. He says, "Who are people and critics to say which black stories are important?" I mean, like, you know, it has to be a good movie first, dude. Like, like just. Yeah, okay. It, it has nothing. Yeah, you, you but, just got to. I'm we're, sorry, we're, man. But Neil, it, and, it's, Neil and I it's can't. It's not a race thing. Yeah. But Neil and I haven't seen the movie. So it's, we, oh, wait, 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 wait. I got, I got, I got a wrestling promo for okay. this one. Okay. The Rock said it once. It's, 
It's not a white thing. It's not a black thing. It's a you have a suck ass movie thing. There you go. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> well, I haven't seen it, but uh, by all accounts, by everyone, it's terrible. So, um, yeah, I mean, everybody that we've read here yeah. is saying it's bad. And I mean, guys, I can only read so many. Yeah. Bad things. Um, all right. So let's get to some good parts. Yeah. John Hamm is doing a Dungeons and Dragons movie. Fuck yeah. Uh, where, where he's, it's about the 1980 uh, killer that actually the re, during the satanic panic. Oh, the night stalker. Uh, the, uh, da, 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 no, it is. I read it early. It was set in 1979. The series gives listeners a behind the curtain look into the world of Dungeons Dragons told through the lens of private investigator William Deere, played by John Hamm, a swashbuggling style tough guy and creator of the game. Uh, Gary, uh, oh, Gary Guy. Yeah. 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 Who's going to be played by. Will motherfucking Wheaton. <laughs> uh, well, dude, I... I nice. We, we, John Hamm, Will Wheaton. We're, we're, we're reviewing oh, this fucking I, I mean, is it... it <laughs> but like, like, I know about Gary Guy Gax. The dude's... He was insane. But, uh, yeah, I, I want to see this big time. Yeah. Yeah, this is the... Oh, yeah, this is the kid who died in the steam tunnels. Oh, shit. <laughs> Did you hear about that? Where they played D and D in Michigan State, uh, and they went down into like the steam tunnels and like all that to act like it was the dungeon. No, and they lost him and he died. Fuck, I didn't hear about yeah, that. Yeah, that's <laughs> a real thing. Yeah, 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 look it up. Everybody, look it up. It's seriously a real story. Um, also, let's talk awesome. Mark Hamill and Halloween's Judy Greer are both in a new Stephen King movie coming out called um, do, 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 The Long Walk. Um, that's awesome because it's Mark Hamill. I hope and to Mark, see him in anything. So I, I hope Mark Hamill keeps his beard because he looks really good in it, <laughs> dude. And all the creepy stuff he's been doing, yeah. where he's like creepy Mark Hamill. He has the beard. Uh, he's the nicest guy. And this is just this just goes to go. Uh, like I have had this notion for years, decades, millenn- I don't know how long, but I always say. The best villains on screen are the nicest guys in real life, and Mark Hamill is a super nice guy. Just so you guys know, so he, like, he, he he's he played Joker many more times. He's played Luke Skywalker, so um, that's yeah, what Neil's referring and, to. And I mean, um, guess what? We have never seen the actual complete film of Blair Witch Project, the original. We've never seen it. Is that right? I so I mean. I saw the, yeah, I saw the on the twenty fifth. Yes, on the twenty fifth anniversary of Blair Witch Project, Blair Witch Project uh, fans will finally see the film as intended, excluding additional effects and with new content on the Blu Ray release. Producer Michael Monolo announced a twenty fifth anniversary edition, of the film revealing unseen content and removal of previous transfer errors so I have, I have a few things to say about um boy which so when i saw i saw the did panic, panic fest this year can you still hear me right can you still hear me yes okay we did panic, yeah. they did panic fest this year and uh the code the the one of the guys who said i kicked that fucker into the that guy was there and um the mm-hmm. co-director and it turns out when they showed it at a pan, film festival uh a major production company bought it out and they hadn't been filmed Three different things, the, the three different endings, but the, the one they used in the movie is the one that filmed originally. But there's one where they just crucified, and I really hope that one's in the Blu-ray edition of it. So, damn, dude, yeah. damn. I talked a lot. So. so, here we go. This is one of the last stories right here. Okay, we have our director for the best golf movie sequel. Of all time. Happy Gilmore 2. Happy Gilmore 2 as director uh, will be Kyle Newichek. Now, if you don't know who Kyle Newichek is, uh-huh. guys, he did a little thing called Workaholics. Oh, nice. And also does a little TV show called What We Do in the <laughs> Shadows. So, 
the guy behind Workaholics and the TV show version of what we do in sh- in the shadows is going to be the director for Adam Sandler's sequel to Happy Gilmore. Absolutely. Which, if you don't know, has literally signed on every freaking person. If they, if you knew him in the Adam Sandler universe, they they're in it. They're in it. <laughs> now, Chris. Yeah. On Monday is when I did the the uh, new segment. When I wrote this new segment, I wrote it on Monday because or on Tuesday because yeah. I knew. Yeah, you're busy. How I wouldn't do anything yesterday and stuff. Um, and after this story, we will go in and out because we are obviously way off timing. Um, but so, uh, so on Monday when I grabbed this story, and this is for the next movie we're about to we're about to review, Twisters was at eighty point five million at the box office. Well, as of an hour ago, they already earned $112 million. Twister has already passed the $100 million mark in just five days. Fuck. So, on that point, Chris, that's the end of the news. That was the movies that don't suck and some of them news. That was me telling Chris a bunch of stuff because he can't read in both eyes because he got blinded by a strobe light at an ELO concert. There's not many things I know in this life, but I know that there's certain things that you can count on. Like if you, <laughs> like if you say people's names, Sometimes they just they just appear, and it's weird because I I just don't know. You know, I, I think we're not talking about Joe Hendry right now. I think we're talking about Twisters. What you said his name? <laughs> oh God no! damn! No! You uh, said his name again, and he appeared. All right. Anyway, we are not talking about the lovely Joe Hendry. We are talking about Twisters. Directed by Lee Isaac Chung. Uh, Lee Isaac Chung directed Minari from uh, a couple of years ago, uh, 2020, which was not only for Best Picture. Um, this stars Daisy Edgar Jones as Kate. No, I never hated them. Glenn Powler. Oh, Glenn Powler's Tyler. Breathe. Think Hitman thoughts. Uh, Anthony Ramos as Javi. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. It wasn't real because it was real for me. Also, Brandon Perry plays Boone. Maura Tierney plays Kathy. Fair. Oh, okay. Let's define fair. Also, uh, this also sorry, Sasha Lane is Lily. She was the one who had the uh, the, the drone uh, operator. Daryl Cormor plays yep. Jeb. Kieran Shipka as the lead in um in one of the best Halloween movies last year. Played Addy. Uh, Nick Nick Dudani plays Praveen. David Corn Swat played Scott and Tundi Adenti plays Dexter and of course Katie O'Brien's in this as Kate is uh, Danny Elmich and Paul Shear. <laughs> the community of Paul Shear also plays the air track police I, I pointed out. I, was, I know who that is. Um Neil Watch the storyline for Twisters. All right, for Twisters. Not the, no not Twister, but Twisters. Oh, that's yeah, Twister. Yeah. Okay, it's Twisters. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. All right, Twisters. As storm season intensifies, the paths of former storm chaser Kate Cooper lured back to the open plains after a devastating encounter years prior. And reckless social media superstar Tyler Owens collide when terrifying phenomena never seen before are unleashed. The pair and their competing teams find themselves squarely in the paths of multiple storm systems converging over central Oklahoma in the fight of their lives. Now, everybody that doesn't know this... I am in central Oklahoma. Tulsa. I, this is where I am in Tulsa. Well, I mean, I guess it's a little more no, it's north, over right? from central. Yeah, it's a little more north central, but whatever. Yeah, Neil's in I'm the still... part of Oklahoma that's considered the Midwest. Southern Oklahoma, like 
Like Oklahoma City, yeah. a little further south, that's considered the south. But he lives in northern Oklahoma, which she, well, she told me, and I, I now know, is part of the Midwest. So I'm sorry, Neil. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, now uh, the only thing that that weirded me out about this movie is one, they did use yeah. names of towns, like. This is what took me out of the movie. All right. When she's like, I'm from some pulpa, a small town. Small town. It's right outside of fucking Tulsa, dude. I go there. <laughs> I know what it is. Like, I get, you know, no one else would know that unless you go to some pulpa. Right. And I go to some pulpa all the time. Yeah. And, uh, but I mean, they, they didn't use the name of like El Reno which is a real place that did get destroyed. I think I actually have a fact on it. Yeah, it got, it got destroyed on uh, 2013. Uh-huh. Yeah, and stuff like that. But, so, the first thing I did when I got out of this movie, I went and asked people, are storm chasers real like that in here in Oklahoma? And I got so much like certification that not <laughs> only are there people like the storm chaser teams in this movie, but they think they played them down because there's been actual gunfights between storm chasing teams <laughs> trying to get down the road to chase tornadoes. Jesus Christ. Would you ever chase storm? Do you think you ever read that? Oh, I have. I have. Oh. I have. Ooh. Like, uh, my friend had a Bronco, too, and we, we went out because there was this tornado in northern Indiana that uh, was about to destroy this trailer park that we always hung out and stuff, and we literally had to cut down and go through a field, and I don't know if you know how a field is, is plowed, but the fields have – curving yeah, yeah. and bump because of how the corn and all that's planted. And we were going directly across that. So it was like, rah, 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 and this Bronco too running from a tornado. So yes, it, it's like, it, I've seen a tornado up and close before. Crazy. Scary. But this is my uh, one thing I got to say about this movie. One, uh, that kind of that kind of edged me, but I, I tried to ignore all that. I really did. I tried to ignore the over missing steps of Oklahoma. But the one thing I could not ignore is that it's tornado season. You know what tornado season means here? That means that either the temperature or the humidity Mm -hmm. is up at an area where a cold front comes through or a hot front comes through and it is smoldering hot here. Yeah. So yeah, no one's wearing a fucking jacket. (laughs) All right. The whole movie, they're wearing jean jackets and hoodies and stuff like that. It's like, dude, I can't even go outside of my house with, like, the clothes I'm wearing without being covered in sweat. I know, it's ridiculous. I smelled the lawn yesterday. I came in just drenched, but... But besides that, the acting in this movie was great. Glenn Powell knocked it out of the park a fucking gin. I don't think that guy can make a bad movie. He has, at this he point. has charisma for days, dude. That dude, Glenn Powell is, has charisma. Uh, no, I, 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 I will say this. Why? How do you think it's a stupid movie? I think it's a very entertaining movie. Like, like that's what I mean. Like, it's very entertaining. I, I had a great time watching this movie because it's we got twins. Yeah. We got twins. Now, it's stupid for sure, but it's fun. And it's it's not stupid. Where's, I got a picture of it. There it is. We got twins. We got <laughs> twins. So uh, I had a good time watching it. Uh, now to say this is a good movie is kind of a stretch, but it's very entertaining. And uh, Daisy and you know, uh, Glenn Powell and Tyler, uh, Daisy Jones had chemistry. Even Anthony Ramos had chemistry, but yeah, it's a, it's a fun movie. She almost looks like Laura Croft. Kind of right? in that photo. Yeah, I was wondering like, why she's wearing like like a gun holster kind of thing. I was wondering. Well, that. she was. They were they were like doing like the whole like they were trying to make her look like Helen Hunt's character yeah. without being like too um do you think maybe too they, like overbearing of it. But um yes, there is a lot of bullshit of physics and bullshit of science. things that happen in this and science in this thing. Um, but. I think in good disaster movies, you have to do that. Yeah, yeah, like, you have to. What, Day After Tomorrow? Um, that's a good one that, you know, where the world all froze over and we're just like, oh, 
San Andreas with The Rock. That was a good disaster movie that was like way overboard. Uh, what's a good disaster movie that you can think of? 2012. 2012. Yeah. 2012 was I, another I one. I want to mention yeah. that this is a, one of the... Uh, this summer is when we really see it, but this is a big blockbuster film. Like it felt like a, a summer movie, right? Like, yeah. like, like the whole guy didn't do as well as you hope to would. She didn't do as well as we hope to would. This is like a classic, which you expect from a summer movie. It big popcorn, lots of popcorn fun. This is a popcorn movie. Yeah. It's great. It's like, what? it's only two hours long. I think it was just a nice little two hour movie. Yeah. Yeah. It's a two hour movie. And, um, I, I tried to go see it in 4D, bro. I tried to go see that 4D what chair happened? thing where you're like, uh, it's, I, I couldn't get a seat. Oh, wow. <laughs> so I had to go see it in IMAX instead. Uh, yeah, that's fine. At the AMC. <laughs> and that was fine, you know, uh, I could, because I could find one at like 10 a.m. in the morning yeah. and yeah, go. I went in Dolby. But like, so then they talked about how Dolby's the way to see it too. So like, yeah, me and Neil, we, we, uh, one of the things I want to mention is the sound design. This is fucking fantastic. You guys see that the big sound theater? design? The, the, uh, you felt like right off the back because of things that happen and the way yeah. they portray, mm -hmm. uh, the story right off the back, you're like, anybody can fucking die yeah. <laughs> yeah. at any moment. So no, to, to me, nobody was safe during this movie. And if you guys see it in IMAX or Dolby, you're going to feel the, the fucking tornado in your seat while oh, you're sitting yeah, there. Yeah. Get, you're I, sitting I was getting shit. a butt massage the whole <laughs> time, bro. <laughs> and that, that, that's what you want. This movie, if you go see it, see it in theaters. See it like in a big theater because that's how you want to see it. Because it's a big blockbuster movie. It's uh, It looks great. You know, it's got great mm -hmm. social effects. And you want to have that energy around you. And Twisters has that. And it's that's what... That's why I think people should go see this movie. Even if it's, it's kind of stupid. Even if it's, the plot makes complete like bullshit, it's still a very fun movie. Dude, there it was like the 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 chemistry between uh like they could make some rom coms or they could make some action movies. You know, they can literally make some like you know, you know like a good action movie like um. I don't know what am I thinking of? Like, I don't know, not Jack Reacher, but you know, cause that's like taking over right now, but yeah. you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Or it's like that, like, like the long kiss good night or like, um, like a true lies mm -hmm. or like, uh, I'm trying to think of one where it's like couples, Mr. And Mrs. Smith, yeah. like, you know, like those movies that like, like, where they have the the couples that could go, uh, a simple fate uh, not a simple favor. Um, <laughs> I was like, mm. <laughs> Not a simple favorite. It's the other one with Anna Kendrick, uh, with uh, Sam Rockwell. God that damn. was really good. Oh yeah, yeah, I yeah. Was... Uh, Argyle is there too. Argyle. That's oh, Argyle. I like I liked Argyle, but oh, no, some yeah. people did not I like mean, Argyle. I wasn't a fan of Argyle. But I was thinking <laughs> the one with her, Sam Rockwell, where he's like, it, I don't think it was Mister Nobody, God but anyway, yeah. I'll look it up in a second. But anyway, um, yeah, these two have chemistry. They can do it again. They could do this like three or four times, and I would not be upset about it. Um, th this movie, if you own Twister on DVD or anything, you would buy this and put it right next to it. It's yeah. doesn't seem like one of those movies that would cause any problem. No, it's, it's a, it's a pretty uh, easy movie to compare the two. I, you know, I thought Helen Hunt or Bill Bax, not Bill Bax, Helen Hunt went show up in a second, but no, this is, this is disconnected from Twister. You don't need to see Mr. it. Mr. Wright. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you're correct. Um, but yeah, Twisters is completely disconnected from Twister. They only have like just a little bit in common, you know, to the very beginning. Uh, but, There's one thing. Yeah, the Dorothys. Um, but uh, the Dorothy. They have a Dorothy five because the four the four Dorothys were destroyed in the first movie. Yeah, but if you guys want to, Twisters is a very fun movie, and I really feel like if you're gonna see, it, you should see it in theaters. Yeah, this is this is one of those see at the theater, get the loud music, eat the popcorn. This is a movie that if if you're talking loud at the theater, which I never condone, this is a movie for you because no one's going to hear you half the time. And the story, the, there is a good storyline that's in the middle of the movie, but besides that, it's just a bunch of people chasing or getting chased by tornadoes. And it's and it's, like, and it's fun as shit. Like like Glenn Powell, like I said, has. Charisma for days. There's chemistry between him and uh, Daisy Edgar Jones. Like, look at that tornado. Yeah. Woo! 
<laughs> and it looks fantastic. Again, I just this is into the. It, it was just a beautifully done movie. Like, look at that. Look at like Glenn Powell there again. Long sleeves in the summer. And I'm so, just saying. And if you guys happen. are, if you guys are friends, if you guys like uh, Oklahoma, if you guys want Oklahoma repped, it does in this movie that he repped Oklahoma, which you know a lot of times Oklahoma does anything to be proud of. But they are shown proud in um, Twisters. Hey, uh, again, hey I, I live in Tulsa, and we we're, we have a we have damn good town, bro. And I don't want to talk shit on uh, some of the things because it's ridiculous. I, hey, but hey, it's hey, fine. Hey, don't talk. Yeah, I mean there are some ridiculous parts. I mean there's like a flaming uh, tornado mm-hmm. at one point. There, there, there's again there are scientific facts and things that can tear this apart but um as we see you know 25 percent of this nation doesn't even believe science exists so so, uh so there's that Uh, so you can tell me if you're talking stuff about politics over here just pulling it out now (laughs) but uh i'm not i I wasn't talking politics i'm just saying that that's a actual like one out of 25 don't even know netflix exists i mean i don't but uh yeah guys guys you'll see twisters it's available on um it's available. What do you give this? Oh well, you saw first time this time. Oh yeah, I, I, and the thing is, I'm trying to figure it out in my head because it's like I liked it; it was fun. I don't see myself watching this movie a bunch of times, but it's one of those movies that if it's on, like if you're going through the channels and stuff like that, that'd be cool. Um, I'm gonna give it four point two. Yeah. I think it was. It was decent. It's a good movie. It's a good popcorn movie. Again, um, it's not going to change the world. It's not going to, you know, change cinema history or anything like that. But to be honest, this is kind of what the movie, kind of, the movie theaters need right now. It's a good movie. It's great special effects. Good little cast. We need a Twister, an Independence Day, uh, an Armageddon. You know, like you know, a Titanic. Movies yeah. like that. That that bring people just to watch it. And sometimes I feel like as much as the artsy uh, political movement kind of films and stuff like that, I get why they exist and they're awesome and I support them. But sometimes people just need some dumb fun. And this is just good old dumb fun. Yeah. I'm going to give this 3.9. I, it's a fun movie. I feel like you, it brings people to the theaters. I don't know if we're my top 10 thing year, but I had a good theater yeah. experience seeing this. So. You know what? I'm going to go four because of that. I don't yeah. want it to get, I don't want to surpass anything. I might want to put my top yeah. 10 at the end of the yeah, year. So I'm like, going to go to four. I'll go to four even on this. Yeah. I had a, no, no, I don't want to say I didn't have a great time watching this. I did, but I just don't see it having the same impact outside of the theater. And mm-hmm. so because of that, that's why it's, it's so like weird. watching Twister on TV. Yeah. yeah, like, yeah. I watched the year. I, I, wa- I watched the original Twister in yeah, the theater. I did too. My mom was terrified of the movie because I'm that old. By, by the way, they're they're I think more than three people I know where Twister is their favorite movie. And I'm like, of all the movies, really? You, I'm like, of all the movies you've seen, Twister's your favorite. Okay, <laughs> all right. But um, I mean, you know what? I who am I? Yeah, who yeah, am I? Yeah, who am I? Who, who am I? Who am I to be that guy to be like you know? That should not be here. Because guess what? I'm just look at the shit I like. Yeah, you yeah. know, it's just this, this is shit I right? like. And some, I mean, I have Princess Bride tattooed on me yeah, for God's yeah, sake. Yeah. You know, and some people literally hate that. Movie. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know who they are, but yeah, uh, you know, we can quote that. I'm sure you can't do that. We can quote that movie line by line. I'm sure you can't too. But uh, yeah, guys, Twisters. You guys can see it in theaters if you want to. Uh, I recommend it if you're going to see a movie in theaters. Uh, do it, make it this one because it's fucking crazy. Uh, to see it, great sound design, it looks great, and of course, big dumb fun. Neil, I'm on Run Simulator right Camera now. What is the audience score for Twisters? Uh, I believe that the Rotten Tomatoes for Twisters are by the by the audience. fans would definitely be. Mm, I'm gonna go seventy eight percent, ninety two percent. Ninety-two yeah. percent. I know. What is the audience? What is the critic score for Twisters? They're gonna go lower. It's sixty-eight percent. Seventy-six percent. Sorry, five fresh though. Oh wow, well, um, nice. Critic consensus is something a storm of spectacle and carried along by the gale force winds of Wind Powell's charisma. Twisters forecast is splendid. The high chance of thrills. 
How do you have a bad review and a good review? Uh, bad review from Alan Jones of the Jacobin. She says, it sometimes happens an actor or two can partially salvage the situation. Pal is one of these. <laughs> That's just like a, a pretty good review. And this is a, a, a review from, let's do a, wow, Brandon Tao of Loud and Great Reviews. Twister is a rousing film, one of the best offerings of summer 2024 thus far. And I guess no one I can say that. We liked it quite a bit. Uh, like I said, if you're going to see it, see it in theaters. And if you're not going to see it, I guess we'll catch on streaming at some point. But yeah, Twister's, it's a, uh, it's in theaters now. I'd recommend going to see it. But we all know, even while we're listening to this, it's going to see Deadpool Wolverine next week. So if you're gonna see two movies, make it Deadpool Wolverine and Twister's. Uh, you know, uh, I mean, I know we're seeing Deadpool Wolverine next week, so... I don't know the. the oh was, man, is Deadpool coming out? Uh, yeah, of course you don't. You've been your, your dick's been vibrating since you heard it's in theaters. I can't even. I can't even go on Facebook. Like people know, are. It's like, scary. Yeah, you, you don't want to let anything ruin for you at all. Because then it's got the people are saying it has plenty of surprises. Which. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like um, th- I did watch one thing because mm-hmm. I knew they wouldn't spoil it. Mm-hmm. I did watch one thing mm-hmm. today, and it was uh, it was Hugh Jackman and. Uh, Ryan Reynolds on Hot Ones. Oh, nice! And I knew there wouldn't be spoilers on there. And they're like, they go like they're they're eating one of their wings or whatever. And he goes, "What's one of the things that surprised you?" He goes, "Surprisingly, people have not picked up on some of the biggest surprises. No one has found this out. There's some of these out yet." And I'm like, "Cause I I've got the rumors. Uh, I got one or two where I I, I kind of know these people." are in it from this and that, but I can't wait to, cause I like the fact that they're like, we, we there's some that people just have not guessed or just flat out. Haven't even come close to yet. And I'm so, like, yeah. So uh, guys, next week, just to so know, uh, we will be swelling the shit out of dip and Wolverine. We get to it. Um, but we will be. Oh you my f- God. It is a spoiler one, but I don't know why I can really spoil out of it. I mean, <laughs> let's be honest. I mean, cause it's not going to be based off of a comic. It's going to be loosely, but you know what? We'll go over it. We'll do a yeah. nice little 10 minute okay. spoiler section and yeah. have some fun with it. Cause we do it um, with star Wars too. So like, it's not, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's literally, um, I feel like it's one of those things you have to nerd out. People, yeah. People, end. people, people know Neil's is a big nerd around this and, he wants to talk about it, and so, uh, but we'll talk about that next week. I, I don't know about the string movie. I have an idea, but I don't know if you want to do it. We'll talk about it later. But um, uh, you guys can find us online movies on such the net. We're at w2mnet.com. This is number two M is in movies net. You'll find us on all the bunch of other really cool podcasts. You can find us at Patreon at patreon.com slash me on suck. Instagram at MTS podcast. X MTS podcast. A bonfire slash me on suck. Something to do. Uh, T Public, search Blackwood Productions. You'll find our stuff there along with a bunch of stuff Neil's made. And if you're listening to us on uh, somewhere you can subscribe, do that. If you like our page, share it. You know, we'll review it. Please review it. That'd be great. We love you. Love you. Neil, what do we do for small businesses? If you got a small business, just let us know. Just give us that information. Give us the information. We'll be more than happy to hang out with you, talk with you, review your stuff right here on our podcast and give you out to our thousands of listeners, our millions of followers at Movies That Don't Suck and Some Do. Chris. You ready out here? Are you ready? Yeah, let's do it. That's another episode of Movies That Don't Suck and Some Do. My name's Neil. And I'm Chris. Remember, guys, no matter what time you're in Oklahoma, remember, it's always tornado season. So look to the sky, and if there's wind blowing to you, maybe you just ate the barbecue. You have a good day, and remember, believe in Joe Hendry.